hello viewers welcome to my channel itj olympiads and ap physics with ambarish and today i have brought another interesting problem for all of you uh, that's john calda problem and uh, uh, the uh, requirement here is to solve the problem only using geometry and uh, we are not allowed to use uh, arithmetic or algebra so let me read out uh, this problem based on uh, uh, this this uh, problem is from the topic relative motion and that's a hint also for this problem so let me first of all read out the problem so what's happening here there's a river okay and uh, you have taken the snapshot of the river and uh, in this river uh, the square thing is a boat and this triangle thing is also a boat and there are three uh, litter particles that uh, litter means uh, you can think of some plastic bottle that you dropped from the boat or maybe a flower you dropped from the boat uh, not a good idea to drop a plastic bottle in a Uh, lake but maybe you dropped a flower or something uh, and that fell in the river and then it uh, uh, flows with the river right so these three things they are litter particles and these two things are boats so let me formally read out the problem what do we have to find out on a wide river two boats move with constant velocities so this and this they are moving with constant velocity the velocity of water in the river is constant across the whole area depicted in the figure and parallel to the coastline so water is flowing okay uh, maybe this side or that side uh, that's not given okay uh, from the coastline the figure is based on a photo which was taken from air camera being directed straight down so we have taken the snapshot drone shot you can uh, think the positions of the boats are marked with square and triangle and the positions of the litter fallen from the boats with pentagram so these are the positions of litters and these two are boats one of the boats departed from point a so it's known that one of the two boats it departed from point a it is known that the boats did meet with each other at a certain moment so they uh, were at certain point of uh, time they were at the same place okay so not only their trajectories intersected but they were simultaneously at the point of intersection okay that's uh that that's implied by this okay the, they did meet with each other at certain moment from which coastal point did the other boat depart solve the problem using geometrical constructions okay so if you want you can give it a try i'll get into my analysis right away okay let's see so uh the key idea here is to uh, think in terms of a simple frame so you know that if you start working from the river frame the river becomes just like a road it becomes stationary and then uh, boats move uh, boats are like uh, vehicles uh, moving on uh, a stationary road from the frame of river okay so and uh, there are three litter particles so obviously uh, uh, two of them must have uh, uh, okay from the river frame since boats are moving along straight lines so the litter particles that are dropped from any boat they should all be collinear right so obviously since all the three litter particles are not collinear that means all the three of them could not be from the same boat they must be coming from different boats so what are the possibilities either two come from uh, the triangular boat and one from the square boat or uh, two come from the square boat but that's not possible see you can see that uh, these two litter particles are collinear with the triangle boat so that means what these two litter particles must have come from the triangle boat and the other litter particle must have come from the square boat okay and therefore uh, uh, this must be the line of motion of the boat uh, which i have marked by q point q uh, with respect to the river this is the line of vbr uh, velocity of boat with respect to river must be in this direction for boat q okay and since this boat is moving in this direction uh, in the forward direction because litter particles cannot be in front of the boat right because they have dropped the litter particles were dropped in past so they must be behind the boat so obviously uh, this uh, the boat q must have been moving in the other direction okay or we can say that boat q must have started from the uh, this coast the lower coast you can say or we can say that uh, boat q must have started from point a so from the ground frame uh, so the boat q must be ha must have been traveling like this right because it started from point a point a is the position in past okay for this boat q and since now it is over here so it started from a so this must be the trajectory of the uh, boat q okay also uh, at the point of intersection maybe there is uh, some water particle which is flowing with the river so from the ground frame this particle must have been somewhere behind so let's try to use that information somehow 
okay so let me read out and then we'll uh, proceed further what else to do in this one so from frame of the river litter remains stationary and collinear with the line of motion of the boat since the river appears stationary from this frame just like a road also the litter particles must be behind the boats accordingly the only possibilities of the lines of motion of the boats are shown by the dotted lines okay the meeting point of the boats must be the intersection point of the two lines from the river frame so this is the intersection point from the river frame marked by point p okay so then what's the other idea now the path of the boat from the ground frame is also a straight line okay that line must be represented by the line aq so this must be the um, uh, line of motion of the boat q okay represented by aq also since the river is flowing from from left to right okay uh, okay uh, so river is flowing from left to right the y coordinate of the point of intersection of the boat must be same from ground frame as well as river frame so how do i know that river must be flowing from uh, right to left you know that the net velocity of the boat must be velocity of the river plus velocity of the boat relative to river now you see this is the direction of vbr and this is the direction of vr the only possibility uh, is that river must be flowing from right to left then only you can see from the triangle of addition that uh, you get this as the net velocity of boat right so that's how i know that river is flowing flowing from right to left okay okay so y coordinate of the point of intersection of the boats must be same from ground frame uh, okay since uh, uh, see uh, river is flowing in the right direction and uh, the river flow is moving the particles of water in the uh, right to left direction only so the particle from the river frame is the point if it is a point p from the river frame from the ground frame since the river is flowing in this direction so this point this particle must have been somewhere uh behind the point of intersection right because uh, the river is flowing continuously so before the intersection happened this particle must have been somewhere uh, behind and it kept on flowing and as the river uh, boats kept moving this particle also came forward and so, uh, we got this as the point of intersection right so so obviously uh, or uh, simple uh, easier way to state the same thing see see this is the actual line of motion from the ground frame and uh, intersection happened at point p that means what uh, the the actual intersection from the ground frame must have been uh, at point p dash Be, uh, because y coordinate as seen from the river frame and y coordinate as seen from the ground frame must be same because river is not flowing in uh, y, uh, y direction it's only flowing in the x direction so this must be the actual point from the ground frame okay where the intersection happened right okay so uh, the y coordinate of the point of intersection of the boats must be same from the ground frame as well as river frame from ground frame this point must be the point mark p dash right because this is the actual trajectory from the ground frame so uh, just uh, extend this behind to get the point of intersection okay okay uh, okay now from ground frame since the intersection of boats happened at point p dash the line of motion of the boat represented by the square must be line tp dash see uh, uh, see uh, p dash is the point of intersection of the two boats so and at uh, in a, at a future moment or at we can say at the current moment the boat t is over here and in past it was at point p dash therefore its line of motion must be uh, extension of the line tp dash so that intersects let's say at point b so that that's why so this uh, boat t must have started from point b okay M uh, accordingly that boat boat must have started from point b and this is our required answer okay so we got the point from where the boat started okay so that was my analysis of the problem uh, and i hope you enjoyed the analysis if you did enjoy the analysis Uh, please do give a thumbs up to my uh, video and please uh, share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with your friends who are preparing for je or olympiads and uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated uh, for doing uh, new videos for all of you frequently thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always God bless you all. Thank you.